Hello Cup Coders and welcome back to Surviving Arts Magica. I am your host Magus96. Real quick before we get going, let's talk a bit about Minecraft servers. More specifically about our server or the one we used to have, however you want to say that. Uh, yes, a lot of you probably are aware and some of you are not aware that we used to host a, a server for Cupco gamers, um, pretty much what all the mods that we have that you that we're playing with here on the video series, we had a server that was set up that had a mod pack for it. That you download the mod pack through Feed the Beast, and then you connect to our server, and you can play with other people using this mod pack specifically on a server designed for our fans. Essentially, is what it was. Um, we ended up having to get rid of the server because of financial issues. Now, those to be more specific. I owe almost, well, as of now, it's like $89,000 in student loans. And I'm having to pay those back. And that's a huge chunk being taken out of my family's finances. Now, mind you, the server was only costing us, at that time, about $180 a year. Now, that's not, it doesn't seem like much, right? When you really think about it, you know, Department of Ed's taking almost $550 a month out of my paycheck and $180 a year, it's like a drop in a bucket in comparison. But in reality, that $180, we were so close on our budget, $180 a year, it, it starts a trickle effect that goes forward throughout the rest of the year that just keeps us in the negative that we were it was having a hard time fighting back from that. So we ended up shutting the server down. Um, it has been asked on multiple occasions. Multiple people have asked me, what will it take to get the server back? So the answer is, you will have to pay for it. I'm not paying. I can't afford to pay for it out of my family budget. Now, how would we facilitate that? The answer uh, on that one is actually rather simple. Um, I do have a PayPal account. Now, the PayPal is not tied to my family finances in any way, shape, or form. If you send me money to that PayPal account, that money has to go towards the server. Now, in order for me to run this, the you guys, the fans, have to pay for the full year up front because that's how we man manage the server. I'm going to let you know, the more money you give me, the better I can host the server. Um, optimally, I would live. I would love to be able to pay the, the the premium price for the server, which means that you know we would it, there would be no lag resulting from the server. The server would be designed to run perfectly, um, and that that would be the highest price item, and that would come somewhere close to like three four hundred dollars. And not even that. Let me think. I think it's somewhere close to a hundred something dollars per month instead of per year. Um, so the more money you give me, the better I can run the server. Uh, the problem with that, here, there, there's another issue with, with running the server right now. Uh, previously, our server was set up, designed to run the mod pack and some bucket plugins. The bucket plugins were mostly for protecting your stuff. Because uh, we've had issues with griefers. People come onto the server and they go around breaking people's homes and they break into people's houses and steal their stuff. And we've had all kinds of stuff, issues like that. And then there's people that jump on the line and they just start cussing and stuff. So that's where the bucket plugins came in as they provided protections. Well, unfortunately, you are not able to get a jar file that can run both mods and plugins. It, it, it's not going to happen anytime soon. Now, I do know that there is, uh, there, there are other stuff out there that I, I haven't looked into it lately. But there's, from my understanding, is there is an option out there now available to run mod, mods and plugins together at the same time. If that's the case, then great. You know, I can get the server set back up and running again. But, like I said, you guys, the fans, have to pay for it. I can't afford to pay for it on my own. It, it's just not going to happen. I mean... Even if I can't afford it, I'm not going to take the money out of my family finances to pay for it anymore. Um, because, I mean, it comes to an issue. If, if I'm paying for it and we have another financial setback, then I have no objections to taking the money back out of the server and shutting the server down. And be like, okay, well, I mean, i got to pay my bills first. However, on the other hand, if I'm not the one paying for it, if you guys paid for it, I can't do that. You know, it's... It, Legally, I mean, I, honestly, you guys paid for the server. I can't shut it down. I can only the only time I'd be able to shut it down then is when it runs out of money. 
Um, okay, so that's it. Seriously, I mean, you have to draw a line somewhere. I mean, you guys are paying for it. If you pay for the full up year up front and you, that year runs out and you haven't paid any additional fees, then yeah, the server is going to shut down. Um, there's nothing I can do about that. It, it, I'm not going to do a pay per player thing. It, it's not going to happen, you know, where you guys pay to play. And I think Minecraft EULA prevents that anyways. So we're not going to do that. But it is going to be one of those things that if you want to, you are more than welcome to send me money to my PayPal account for me to, to put towards the server. Uh, my PayPal account is Jason Yarber at hotmail.com. Um, so go ahead. If, go ahead. J A S O N Y A R B E R at H O T M A I L.com. If you want to donate towards the server, go ahead and send me a donation there. Uh, put it in, go ahead and put, I think when you send a money via PayPal, it, you can specify what it's for. So go ahead and put in there that it's for the Minecraft server. Um, other than that, if we get enough money to, to, to start it, then I will go ahead and start it. If we do not get enough money to start the server, um, I mean, I'm just going to let, keep letting the money roll in. So as, as people keep sending my money, we're, we're just going to keep banking it. However, I will also keep track of how much every person is, has donated. And if, you know, after a couple of months, we don't have enough money to start the server, then I will send the money back to you. Um, so it's 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 all or nothing as far as that goes. If if we get we either get all the money to run the server or we don't. If we don't, you guys aren't down of anything. I'll send the money back. No big deal. All right. Well, that said, let's get on with the show, shall we? On with the show. <laughs> all right. So what we did last episode is we have these magic planters. Let's go ahead and pull that book out. Let's go ahead and pull it out. Yeah, magic planter and magic plow. We're gonna go ahead and craft those real quick. Uh, let's see, magic planner. We need blank room, two vinium dust, two arrows. We've got blank room. We're gonna need blank rooms for both. And I think we're gonna need yeah, four vinium dust, four vinium, which is exactly all that we have. We need four arrows. There we go. That urgh. just like that. So let's check what else we need for this. Uh, snowball, moonstone, and air essence. Snowball. Probably need it for both, actually. I think that's like part of the, the, the projectile thing. Moonstone. How much you want to bet? They both need it. They both need it. Yep. Exactly. Yep. Precisely. All right. Now, Moonstone, and we need Air Essence. Now, Air Essence is produced by four of those. Oh, boy. We need more feathers. Durr. All right, let's go find some more feathers. Gotta go get those cluckers out here. I see them on my radar. Day over this way. Yeah, check, 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 chicken, chicken. Check, check. Did I just see a floating tree? You know how much I hate floating trees. Do, 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 do. Seriously? Jump up there. Jump, 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 jump. Just like that. All right. Um, let's see one more over this way. I just want to make sure we have plenty. That's all. That's it. Just want to make sure we have plenty. How dare you? Hey, where'd you go? Ah. Oh. Thank you. I'll go pick those up. We're gonna need them at some point, I'm sure. Yep. All right, I think that's enough for now. I mean, we only got six, but you know, it's it's enough for now. And there's definitely going to be some floating trees over here, and it's because of that lava right there. Lava, lava, lava. Whoa! Excuse me. Ow! Whoa!
Ow. Hey. Look, I don't take kindly to being shot in the tushy now. No, I do not. I know. Did you see me? I was doing bad things. Here. I was using lightning on a on a creeper. I'm hoping maybe one of these will, uh, will light up and they'll, they'll show you what what happens. Oh, out of mana. All right, well, that's good enough for now. Let's get in it. Let's get inside. Before we get jumped by any more creatures of the night. Come out here. So put those two there. those there I think that's how it works are you not connected you don't seem to be connected you are not connected how dare you not be connected for real for real look you just need to be connected do 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 do, do. All right, now it's connected and it's working, right? That, 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 that means it's working. Okay, so it should be creating two of those. There's no way to automate that thing. I mean, telling you, there isn't. Now, we could put a chest underneath it so it'll pull out anything that drops, but you can't really automate it, per se. Um, not like you can these. This thing over here, you cannot automate it either. Just so, just so you're aware, it is not automatable. You're at 99. Okay, so we're, we're oh, I'm probably overbearing it right then. It's okay. Are you telling me that it's wrong? Look now. Fine, let's check the essence. Essences. Air essence. Yeah, feather up top. So that's right. Yes, 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 yes. See, now what is wrong with that? Why is it disconnecting? Stop disconnecting. Sheesh. Okay, I see it moving very subtly there. I wish it was more obvious that it was working instead of just that little subtle mess that he's got going on there. All right, so there's an air essence there. It's still working. So we're going to leave that be. Uh, what else do we need? All right, so we got the air essence. Then we need dynamite. Uh-oh. I don't know if I have dynamite for both of them. Uh, I may not have enough. All right, these are not part of the, of the crafting recipes. All right, let's put these away. Put the peonies away. Peony goes away. Gunpowder. I got eggs in here. I don't think I have put eggs over here, did I? Yes, I did. There it goes right there. Gunpowder. We do have enough. All right. And sand. Yep. So one, two, three, four, five. At least I think that's the recipe. Nope. Totally not. That's the recipe right there. Oh. All right, air essence goes there. 
back in there. It goes there. It goes there. All right, what else do we need? The air essence should be done by about now. Uh, dynamite, green rune. So we need two green runes. Oh, we need more rooms. Yes, we do. Huh? Oh, wait, no, no, no. It's just plain cobble. Durr. Just plain cobble. Give me that. Just plain cobble. There it goes. All right, so we need green rooms. So to make green rooms, we need cactus. Cactus. Let's go smelt two cactus. I'm so used to using that one there. You don't want to use that one anymore. We're going to use this one. Uh, the other benefit of this is not only does it duplicate stuff, it's slower than the other furnace, yes. But it not only duplicates stuff, it has a chance of creating some dust for it too. Whoa. Dude, can't you see I'm busy over here? I guess we should... All right, fine, 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 fine. Yeah, we should go ahead and light this area up a little bit. You won't think it's daytime out here. Look at all this. Find my shadows, light it up. We don't even need torches out here no more. You don't think it's daytime. You don't walk around my house and be like, man, it's daytime. And it's night. That's the plan. Now, I'm going to leave those two torches there because that kind of just indicates the, the where the drop is to go downstairs. So that, that torch is fine. Uh, let's see. The other thing I want to do, not this one, this one. Light it up so that nothing comes out of there. Sounds good to me. Well, that looks good. We got some one on the other side. Let's go. Let's go light up that one too. I gotta tear that down over there, don't I? All right, got this well lit up, the yard's well lit up, we ain't got to worry about that. Uh, we are not going to light up the, the, the ground on the other side of the river there. Uh, mainly because that's our killing field. I mean, we can't do a whole lot of killing if if it's all lit up, right? So we don't need this torch. Pick that up, throw it up there. We look down here and we've got two cactus greens. Uh, that's for making our green things here. Here we go. right in there get that torch out of the way so we should have our two air essences here just like that 
Let's put some stuff away real quick because we're running out of inventory space down there. Throw that up in there. Alright, what else are we missing? What else we need? We need... Oops, too far. Uh, we need two seeds, oak sapling, and a spell parchment. Well, we do, we're definitely going to need two spell parchments here. Uh, we only have one paper in there. So, pull out three. I know, why do I only make three at a time? You know what? I don't know. Uh, we need some sticks. We don't have any sticks over there. Let's go ahead and make some sticks. there. You know what? Let's go ahead and make one more. There we go. We'll make all three. Move that one up in there. Now I need, we, we needed for this first one seeds, two seeds, oak sapling. So two seeds. So uh, oak sapling two seeds and an oak sapling and then it gets its spell parchment for the second one it needs a stone hoe and a spell parchment we already have a stone hoe uh, it is currently no we do not all right so we need to get two sticks and two pieces of cobble Two sticks, two cobble. And there's the stone hoe for that. So now we got, we're prepped to make two spells. Let's go do this. We're going to start with the magic planner. Make sure we can see them both. All right. Ventium dust. Arrow. Snowball. Another Ventium dust. Another arrow. Oh, does it need an, oh, shoot. I didn't get enough snowballs. Okay. Moonstone. Air essence. Power. Dynamite. Green rune. Seed. Oak sapling. Seed. And the spell parchment. All right, and this is the magic planter. So what are we going to give it? Uh, what symbol? Let's use that one. I think that, no, 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 this one. This one looks good. Magic planter. Now what the magic planter does is it lets us plant stuff. Um, not entirely sure how to work it. We'll figure that part out later. In the meantime, let's go ahead and pull this off and put the magic plow down. And let's go ahead and make that spell. So blank rune, Fintium dust, arrow, Ooh, snowballs. All right, we need some snowballs. Since I forgot, I didn't get enough. Oops. Snowballs, Ventium Dust, an Arrow, another Snowball, Moonstone, Air Essence, Power. Dynamite, Green Rune, the Stone Hoe, and last but not least, the Spell Parchment. Alright, so this one is Magic Plow. Um... What symbol to use for this? Let's see here. You know what? I think this symbol actually is a pretty good representation for plow. And that's what we're going to do. Uh, so real quick, let's go. Let's see. see two, 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 two. 
I'm not entirely sure how to work the, the, the magic planter, to be quite frankly with you. So let's go read the book on the planting thing. The planting thing, components, plant. You can call seeds from your inventory to be planted in the ground if conditions are right for it to grow. Best couple with AOE or some other shape for rapid planting. All right, so let's go grab some seeds. Ooh, I know. Hold up, hold up, hold up. All right, so this book is done. We need to go get this other book off out over here. Before I forget. Pull that one out. Perfect use for this book. Boom. So all our all our spells are built. We're gonna come over here. And we're gonna go ahead and demonstrate magic planter. So we have 13 seeds there. So we're gonna take magic planter. I'm gonna pl click it up to the area of effect. Check that out. So we just planted let's say, nine pieces of wheat in one step. Isn't that awesome? That'll make harvesting that'll make harvesting and plant replanting so much easier. Now there is another spell that goes along with this. Ooh. Hold on. Come on over here. Come on. Yeah, I'm looking right at you. Bring it on. Come on. Why are you in my house? Get out of my house. Oh. You cheap bastard. Can't even give me anything. You cheap bastard. Alright, um... So let's go show you the magic plow now that, now that we've done that. It's not one that I'm going to have to use very often, mainly because, you know, I've got pretty much got my field done over here. But we're going to show you magic plow anyways. So I'm going to go ahead, area of effect. Boom, check them apples out. So now that whole area is, is now plowed up and ready, ready for planting. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it's the best way for me to fix this. Just to dig it up and replant, re relay the field. There we go. So now we have new spells. We've got Magic Planter. We've got Magic Dig. Now my best suggestion is the the next spell we would need to go with those three is going to be a, a Magic Harvest spell. I, I think we're going to need some more mana. Uh, uh, let's see. I'll find that it's utility. So there is a harvest spell. There it is, harvest plants right there. So we'll need that to go along with it. Let's see, there's create water, which is awesome. I mean, drought, and we'll drown it up, banish rain, water breathing. Uh, we need the opposite of this. There is a there is a create rain spell here somewhere. It's radius. Yeah, it's like a storm spell or something like that. But we're gonna we're gonna definitely I'm working towards this grow spell. I'm telling you. So I guess our next green spell will be Harvest Plants. That'll be our next green spell. And our next blue spell should be Wizard's Autumn, maybe? Or, or better yet, we need some spells over here. Heal. Yeah, Heal is going to be our next blue spell. All right. Um, that's looking good. I think that's it for today. As always, a like, a comment, and a share lets me know that you care. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you back here on the next episode of Surviving Ars Magica. Meanwhile, this is one thing I want to look into right here is this. So we're going to have to make... Oh, we got a lot of work to do for the Pure Essence. But I want to make that Deficit Crystal right there so we can make an Arcane Deconstructor. Because we got all this stuff here. We just need to break it down. All right, thanks for watching. See you in the next time.